Hey guys, welcome to Raise Tobin. My name is Kushal, and in this video, we are going to see how to backup the DigitalOcean Cloud Server. So basically, there are two types of backups available in the DigitalOcean. So one is the weekly droplet backup, which is uh, nothing but a function which helps in creating the backups. And uh, DigitalOcean maintains almost like four to five backups for a month. And uh, second thing is the snapshot. So we are going to cover both of these things in this video. So I already written an article on this, which you can refer the things that we are going to cover. Like I said, is one first is enabling the weekly backup, and second is the taking the snapshot of a cloud server by powering off. So without further ado, let's get started. I already have my console open. So when you log in for the first time, you would be landed over to this page. So quickly go to Droplet. So in the droplet sidebar, you would be able to do, see this multiple options out of which we are going to focus on backups as well as a snapshot. So click on the backup. So backup is really simple. Uh, it's automatically create a weekly backup uh, and it's uh, weekly backups are maintained for a month. So the older backup which is created would be deleted. So I think uh, the DigitalOcean uh, retains almost like four or five backups for a month. Enabling the backup is really simple. Just go and click on this enable backups. So you would be charged one dollar per month since uh, I am using the five dollars. And uh, generally, the backup ch charges are twenty percent of the total cost of the droplet. So for me, one this is a one GB RAM uh, droplet, uh, which is ch cost at five dollars a month. So my backup charges are one dollar per month so if you have like uh, twenty dollars so it would be charging around twenty percent of the twenty dollar which is nothing but four dollars so once you enable this uh, all the backups will be appearing in here so like i mentioned it retains almost like four or five backups uh, in a month and the older backup is deleted now the second thing which is there is the snapshot the snapshot is nothing but the real-time backup of your cloud server. So what you can do is you can just uh, name the uh, snapshot and then you can take a live snapshot. Before that, what DigitalOcean recommend is to power down using this uh, button. Like uh, you can just turn off and uh, this will power off your uh, droplet. Other way is uh, you have to log in into your console as well as uh, console and then you need to run the command which is nothing but power off so once it is powered off you can have the or uh, you have the option to turn on turn it on back from this power menu since my demo website is not like very active and it's a demo website i would be powering off from here but DigitalOcean and i would suggest you to first power off using the console which is nothing but the ssh and then power take the snapshot and the tab, a snapshot will take uh, typically takes like a uh, few minutes based on the size so it's mentioned like uh, it will take one minute per GB of data since my droplet size is like very less uh, I think so it's around 20% uh, which is nothing but 2 GB so it would take two minutes of time so let me go to the power and uh, it won't turn off so it will take some time so you can even turn off from this option so it's currently on so if you toggle this so it will be turned off now your droplet is turned off you can quickly go to snapshot you can even take snapshot on the live side but uh, it will uh, create some data inconsistency so it's generally recommended to power off and then uh, take the snapshot so you can name the snapshot whatever you want so i would just leave it default and uh, take snapshot so meanwhile, uh, the charges for this is like five cents for one GB per month. So if your droplet size is like uh, two GB or three GB, then it would be charging into five cents, which is nominal charges, which is not expensive. Uh, but uh, this is a manual snapshot. So if you create the snapshot today, uh, you can return it as long as you uh, want. And uh, next time, if you want to take the backup of the snapshot, you have to do it manually. And so what I personally suggest is to enable the backup option instead of taking snapshot. So snapshot is really useful when you want to migrate your uh, server from one region to different regions. My region is NYC, which is New York City and uh, region NYC three. So if I want to migrate my server to say, suppose London, so I can just take a snapshot. And once the snapshot is created, there will be option to migrate to the different region and which we can use it uh, for migration. Uh, and even the backups are also used for the same. You can just backup uh, at one region and you can just migrate it after backup is created. So like I said, it will take a couple of minutes. 
Okay, so my snapshot is created and the size of it is like 2.7 GB. So I would be charged roughly around uh, 15 cents or something like that. It took around uh, roughly around 4 minutes of time. And like I mentioned, once we create the snapshot, we have ability to move into different regions. So if you hit on this more button, you would be able to see uh, you can have uh, multiple options like whether you want to create a new droplet or you want to add a region or you want to change the ownership or you want to restore the droplet. So all of these options are available. So similar options will be all also available in the backups. So once this snapshot is created, uh, you need to turn on your uh, server. So do not forget that unless then uh, your server would be offline. So that is one of the reason why I would suggest you to use the backup instead of snapshot because till the time the snapshot is being uh, created, the server is off and uh, we may lose the traffic. That's why the backup is, is my primary take. This way we can take the backups as well as snapshot of the DigitalOcean Cloud server. That's all in this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments regarding the backups or the snapshot or anything. I would be really happy to help. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And cheers, guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.